All right, guys, welcome to our team family call every Sunday. Um, so there are some couple of things that I wanted to talk about tonight. And it, I'm going to talk to you as an individual. I'm going to talk to you as a leader. Um, and then what you need to do for yourself and what your leaders need to be doing for your teams. Um, but one of the things that I want to talk about, I know we've talked about parties before. I did the Zoom all on parties, but you leaders need to make sure that you're launching your new distributors. It has been so huge since I really started doing that a month or so ago. Every new DT I sign, I get them launched. If they're within a couple of hours, I'm going and launching them in person. If they are so, so far away, I'm launching them on live. It's so easy. It's really simple, but they're getting all four of their customers from that party and they're getting to a 400 box, if not more. If I'm in person, they get a lot of people there. I'm getting them distributors, loyal customers. We're booking parties from the parties. I've done four in-person parties this month already. For one person and she booked she's booking a party from every party so we're just keeping this thing going and she's like growing her team like crazy so it's really simple you don't have to go and do like a ton of stuff um, you don't have to buy a ton of products or anything like that I already have them so I'm taking what I have um, but it's it's going really well each party that we do it's getting more and more streamlined I've never had help at a party before because I've always done it myself so having her there she's getting all the mason she gets like 24 ounces mason jars fills them up with like the whatever powder we're trying like hydrate collagen um, berry greens chocolate greens keto coffee she's making all of that in advance in a pit in little 24 ounce mason jars and then we got little cups and she pours them in the cups brings it on a platter and everyone gets to try it as I'm talking about the product so it's really streamlined it's really simple she doesn't have a lot of pressure on her not knowing everything yet and I'm coming and I'm doing the work for her and it's the same thing for an online party. I go, I do the same exact presentation I would do in person. I just go live instead. Um, and then I show them what the product looks like. I talk about how it tastes and the experience that it's given me. And it's going really well. People are getting all of their customers and getting their, their $100 shopping sprees and growing their teams really quickly doing it. So if you're more new in the business, reach out to your upline and ask them if they would host a party for you. If there's someone that's far away, if you get people in your house, they can zoom in at your party and you can throw their face up on the TV screen and they can still talk to your potentials. So I've got, I see Ashley, Leah, Megan, we just had a zoom, um, over the week, over last weekend. And, um, I told them that I would zoom in there in California and I'm going to, if they book a party, I'm going to call in and talk to their potentials that they get there. You don't have to be close to be able to do that for someone. Um, so all you have to do is if you're new, reach out and just say, I need you to launch me. I need help launching to whoever enrolled you or your upline and like put some fire underneath of them and you leaders, you need to be doing that too. Okay. So the other thing that I wanted to be talking about for leaders is never put your fears or your limiting beliefs in front of your team. If you are afraid of moving and growing, that does not mean that your team is only ever going to be Ruby, executive, whatever. You need to be getting diamond charts in front of your team and helping them believe that they are so much better than they are. Even if you're thinking, well, they're only a distributor right now, how the heck are they going to be diamond? If you're only thinking Ruby, that's all they're ever going to think either. And that's where your team is going to be slowing down and not growing because you don't have a big enough vision for yourself that you're not having a big enough vision for your team. So every single one of you, that's on here that has a team, you need to make sure that every single one of the people on your team has a diamond chart and that is their goal. Diamond or above. If they are exec if they're just distributor right now, they have a diamond chart. If they're executive, they have a diamond chart. If they're Ruby, they have a diamond chart. If they're diamond, they have a double and a triple chart out. You always want the chart above where you're going so you have a goal in mind because that's going to help you get all those other ranks in between. If you have a serious game plan and a goal where you're going and it's streamlined and you have each chart ahead, 
you're going to already be filling that out. So I don't want you to just look at a chart. I need you to physically print out a chart and physically hand write those names in. I don't care if you have one name to write in, write it in because one that's going to get you really familiar with your chart. It's going to get you familiar with the people on your team. You're going to know exactly where everyone is. Get into the habit of charting. I know my leaders, you are charting queens. I know I don't really need to tell you that, but other people that are, are, are starting to grow their teams and, and, and grow, like you need to get into the habit that you're doing everything. You're writing everything down. You know when an LC is being enrolled, you're updating that volume. You know when your team is just um, enrolling a distributor, maybe you haven't and you're putting it in there. You're telling them where they need to move that and you are being so on top of your chart that nothing is being missed because that's what's going to help you get to where you need to be. So if you start your business at that from the very beginning, you're going to have a very, very um, consistent growth and you're gonna know exactly where you're going. You're gonna know where you're weak. You're gonna know where you're strong. You're gonna know where you're gonna need to focus and where other parts of your chart is doing so good that you can just cheer them on and keep, keep helping them push towards their goals. But if you haven't looked at a chart in a long time, tonight you are going to print one. If you don't know where you're going, you're going to print a diamond chart and you're going to get that going today. Because let me tell you why I'm pushing diamonds so hard. As of right now, we are about six months away from conference. I want you guys to be going to conference as diamonds. I don't want this nilly you've been in this business for so long coming as a Ruby. You're all better than that. You are all so much more than, and I'm not saying just Ruby because I joined for $500. I know that $500 can change your life, but if $500 can change your life, then sure as heck 2000 will completely change your life. And you all have that in you. So I need you all to make sure you've printed your diamond charts out. That is your minimum goal by conference. And guess what? A diamond is not going to just fall in front of your face and happen. It's going to take leg work. You're going to have to make sure that you're talking to your uplines, getting their opinions, getting ideas, getting new fresh blood. You could have a diamond chart underneath you, but if no one is working, stop thinking about those people that aren't working and go get new people. Go get some fresh blood. And you know how you're going to do that? By being excited. If you are not excited about your business, you need to go find something that makes you excited. I don't care whatever it is. You go figure it out because that excitement is what's going to draw people to you. If you are so stagnant that you don't even talk about anything on your social media, who's coming to you? Who has been coming to you? That should be your answer. If you're not drawing people to you, it's because you are so just gone emotionally from your business and people are not going to be coming to you. You're, that's why you're constantly sending out messages and people aren't replying back because what do you give them? Make sure that you are excited about your business. And I've got to tell you, since I've been doing these parties in face and online, like it's been getting me really excited again. That's how I started my business in the beginning. And I grew really fast because of these parties. And I was like, Oh my gosh. So I got out of the habit. I got, I lost my excitement. I got pregnant. I was sick all the time. And then I had a baby and I was exhausted all the time. I lost my fire. I lost my excitement. And guess what that did for my business? I lost my momentum. I lost my drive, my push. But just because you lose it does not mean you can't find it again. It doesn't mean that you can't push through and get to where you need to be again. You 100% can. And every day can be a new beginning, a new start, a fresh start for you. So don't think that you've been in this business so long and you're like, well, if I'm not getting it now, I never will. That's not true. You just need to get up and get serious with yourself. Literally, there are days where I'm just like, I'm so exhausted. I just can't. Like, I have to slap myself to do what I need to do. So you make sure you as a leader, you're setting the tone for your team. And again, I know that my leaders are absolutely doing that. You guys are incredible. Um, 
you're always setting the tone. You're doing so many amazing things for your teams. And I'm so incredibly proud of you. Um, your teams are doing awesome. So other, you other ones that are really wanting to just like go hard, make this happen. Look at yourself in the mirror and be honest with yourself. What are the things that you just aren't doing? Is it like everything? Probably. If you're like just maybe posting on social media and that's about it, you know you're not doing the things possible. So please do not get upset about you not ranking up or you not getting the paycheck you want because you're getting the paycheck, sorry, that you deserve. You, that's your workload. You're getting what you've worked for. So if you're not where you want to be, get it together. This work is not hard. You know what we do. We do the same things from day one to day 5,000 to day 10,000, no matter how long you've been in this business. The workload does not change and you make this, you make more money, the more you're consistent doing those things every day. So it's like, do you want to keep making like a hundred dollars a month? Maybe you're making 50, maybe less. Or do you really want to make that bigger income? You need to make sure that you're printing out your chart. You know exactly where you're going. You know exactly what you need and just do the work. No one is going to do it for you. And sometimes, I'm not going to lie, the work will get done for you because someone above you is hustling their buns off to get where they need to go. And as soon as they get there, they're going to drop you like a bad habit because you weren't doing the backup work to help them get there. And they're going to move on to that person that maybe is underneath you who's kicking tail and you're going to get left behind. That is the way this works. Because if, if, if you might have enough volume to get them where they need to be, they're going to use you to get there. But that's where your relationship is going to end if you're not putting in the effort. So if you see something amazing going on in your, in your chart, do something about it. Reach out to that person. Tell them how awesome that they're doing. Get them a chart in front of them. Make sure that you're being the leader that you need to be so your team is thriving. Okay. Is this all making sense? Like, I don't mean to be mean. I'm telling you that people's going to leave you in the dust, but when your leader has a vision, they are going to make it happen, whether they have to pick you up and move you, walk over you, trample you, whatever, they're going to make it happen. And I don't want anyone to walk over you. I want you all to rise up together. I want you to all put in the legwork together because that's what team membership and team it's about. It's like, that's what we're about to team. You work together. Stop being lazy and expecting someone to do something for you. You know that your, your leader's like, well, they need me as a 400 box. I don't feel like putting my ADB auto ship set up. They're going to do it for me anyway. Yeah, but wait till next month. They're going to sign a new distributor and leave your butt behind. Real talk right now, guys. I'm not trying to be mean. This is real life. Like They are going to get where they need to get. Do you want to be there with them? Do you want to move with them? I want to see some heads nodding. Yes, you do. Stop expecting them to do everything for you. Stop being lazy. They work their tails off and you expect it to happen for you. I never got nothing in my business. I never got a distributor placed underneath me. I never got a loyal customer placed under me, under, beneath me. But I worked my tail off. They didn't have to do anything for me. What are you doing? Get your goals, get yourself together. You've got six months to go diamond by conference. Are you going to be there as a diamond? And if not, please don't come crying. Please don't come complaining. It's all your own work or the lack thereof. Everyone in here needs to be diamond or above by conference because every single one of you, you have it in you. You just got to believe it. You got to see it and you got to put in the work. Print your charts out. Get with your upline. Tell them what your goal is. They will match your effort because they are bomb. They are so good. They will, they will do whatever it is that you need them to do to get where you need to go. But like I said, come heck or high water, they will do what they need to do to get where they need to go too. Okay? Because I got so many girls in here I see triples, presidentials, ambassadors popping in this team over the next year. This is just the, you guys are just doing so good. 
and it's because they're working hard for it. So six months, you need a six month plan. How does that work? Let me tell you. So when you print out a diamond chart, say you've got three distributors on your team, you know that you need 15, right? So you can say, all right, six months, six months divided by, I need, I have three. So that means I need 12 more. I need two distributors every month for the next six months to get my diamond chart full. But that's not what we're going to do is it, baby. No, it is not. We're going to double that. So you need four distributors every month for the, pe the next six months. Why? Because people will join and they will quit. You need to double your efforts to get where you want to be. Okay. And eventually what's going to happen is as you start to get these team members, they're going to get team members and they're going to help you with that momentum. But you just need to think that this is a uno solo game plan that this is all you doing it all day long. Okay. Because that way you don't get upset when people quit on you. Okay. So say you're again, you need those 12 distributors in six months. You're going to double that. So you need four over the next six months every single month if you're doing it completely on your own and you need 8,000 in volume. So say right now you have 12,000 or 1,200 in volume. That means that you need 68 more to get diamond by February. So divide that by 12 months. How much do you need a month? Then you take that number and you divide it by 30. That tells me tells you how much volume you need every single day of the month. So if one day you don't get a customer, you know the next day you got to double it. This is you. Again, Do that's with you doing it on your own. And I don't expect anyone to do any of this on your own. As you start to grow a team and you're launching them like you're supposed to, you're helping them get their four customers, you're helping them get another party and get them to launch a party get their team members launched. As you start to do that, it's going to happen organically. It's just going to happen because that like you, you making that momentum, you teaching your team, like when they sign a teammate, this is what we're, what we do. And they start doing it too. Your team is going to start growing at a rapid rate, but you've got to set the tone first and make sure that you know where you're going and that your team knows where they're going or else it's going to be a crap show where nobody's knowing where they're going. You're just walking around in circles like a daggone merry-go-round. You're going to get dizzy, throw up, and stop. That's not what we want here. We want you moving up, 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 up. Okay? All this making sense. People on my team who are already diamond, you're printing out your triple charts. Because you're working towards double, that means you print your triple I see Katie. Yes, quick. Yes, Katie. <laughs> Triple. So as you're filling in your double chart, because that's what you're working to, you have your next goal right in front of you that you're going ahead and you're starting to fill up that triple chart. It's going to seem extremely overwhelming. You're going to be like, how the heck am I going to fill this? Well, remember back before February, it was double that number and people filled it. <laughs> okay. So you can do it. So you just need to make sure that you are, you, you have something that you're constantly working at. You have something in front of your face. You have something that you can send to your team. So I have my iPad, which I love the app GoodNote, and I will write in people's names, my new distributors, and I send them their charts every single week updated with updated volume, updated new distributors. I let them know, I show them exactly where they're at and where they're looking towards your, their next goal. And it gets them so excited. And I get let them know, I'm like, hey, just so you know, um, I placed a new distributor here. I'm gonna show you what that chart looks like. And now you only need three more to be chartered for Emerald. How crazy is that? So when you're in constant communication with them, they know where they're going and you know where you're going, it's just gonna make for a really good um, communication and strong promotions. And that's what we want. We definitely want strong promotions. So if you're working towards, like, again, if you're diamond, you have your double that you're working to towards, but you have your triple that you're really working towards, that's going to be a really strong double promotion. Um, and we have like all the charts and stuff like on the team page, but if you don't know where to find them, um, you can go into eSuite 
go to the document section and then type the word chart in. All the charts are gonna pop up. The last one that's going to be available to you is diamond. Um, so all my diamonds and above already know, like they they already have like their other charts that aren't available on eSuite, but every one of you should have your diamond chart printed and start filling something out. Perfect, getting yours printed out right now. That's it. So yeah, that's where it is. And then those of you who are also maybe new to this and you're, you're starting to maybe grow your team, I'm going to teach you another report. So you're gonna go to reports um, and then you're going to go to downline activity. This is where you go to shout your team out. So you'll get to see when your new distributors sign on distributors and customers and you check that every single night. And you text them like, oh my gosh, you signed a customer, I'm so excited for you, wah! Um, and they could already have some distributors underneath of them. So you could say, this, if you move that loyal customer underneath this distributor, that's going to give you your $100 bonus because you get a $100 bonus when you sign a distributor and you help them get their two customers and make sure that they are commission qualified. They're going to be like, what? So you help them move them. You help teach them how they do that. And so then from there on out, as they start to grow their team, they're going to do the same things because they're going to follow your example. So you knowing exactly what's going on, they're going to then turn around and know exactly what's going on because you've taught them how to do that. And everything that we do in this business is so duplicatable. It's so simple, but it starts with you or ends with you. Most likely your team is going to follow what you do. So. If you're not reaching out to them and letting them know that they got a loyal customer and where to move it, they don't even know that they can move it. And guess what that means? They're losing out on money for their family because you didn't tell them that they had that option. They just stacking up loyal customers. I didn't know. I had like 27 loyal customers direct, directly underneath me and I had distributors and I didn't know I could move them till like four some, four some months in this business. So I was like, Ashley Murphy's like, are you saving up for a car bonus? And I was like, what's a car bonus? And she's like, oh, it's when you get so many loyal customers and so much volume, they'll give you like $500 as a car bonus. I was like, I didn't know that was a thing. She's like, oh, so why are you keeping all your loyal customers? And I said, cause I signed them. <laughs> She's like, oh, you can move them. And I was like, move? What? What does that mean? I didn't understand. Let me tell you something. When you move customers underneath your team, that makes you grow faster. It makes them grow faster. It gets them excited. You're all working together for the same common goal of reaching your ranks. It makes you get there faster. So stop being an LC hog. Run your auto ship. Run your auto ship. If you make sure you run your auto ship, one, you have product coming in every single month that you have something exciting to talk about in your stories. You can talk about it every single day. I did that. I got two to three products every single month. I talked about them every single day. Yeah, because I post six times a day. Heck yeah, I talk about it every day. Um, and what, what that does is people they need to see something over and over and over and over and over until they get it. So when you talk about that product every single day, they're gonna be like, wait, what are you talking about? What is that? And they're gonna reach out to you. Another thing, if you get products that are sample size or in some kind of sample, if you don't have the 80 BV or the 80 to $100 to cover your 80 BV auto ship, buy products that are sampleable, that you can turn around and sell and get your money back. So your business pays for itself. 80 BV auto ship is mandatory. Everyone needs to be running their auto ship. If you, if this is a business, which it is, that is your one and only expense in this business is 80 to $100. If I were to start a business today, I would spend thousands of dollars every month paying for rent, paying for my inventory, paying for coworkers to run my shop for me, paying for an electric bill, paying for a water bill, paying for all of these things, and you're worried about 80 to $100. Do what you gotta do, buy the products that you can sample out, turn around it and sell it. I never in my entire business have not run an auto ship because I, this is a business that I'm running and I realize that is money that I have to spend to make money. If I don't have anything coming in, I have nothing to talk about. It's non-negotiable people. Run your auto ship, 
because then as you start to get distributors on your team, you can start helping them grow their team by giving them customers because you're not worried about hoarding them all and keeping the volume for yourself because you're not going to be commission qualified. No, we share, we give to our team, we help them run their business and move forward because that helps us move forward too. Okay, we've got a couple more minutes. That's mostly what I wanted to talk about. Does anyone have any questions or concerns or comments that they want to add? If you, if you do, you can unmute yourself. Hey. Let me see. I don't see any. Oh, Kalila. I'll okay. say something. Yeah. Okay. This is mainly about consistency and always talking about your product. Um, I had someone reach out to me like three days ago and she says, okay, I've been watching you for months now, but I want to get some products. And it was like 150 volume, but she, she straight out told me, you know, I've been watching you for months now and I decided I want to get product. So that was just nice to hear reassuring of what we're supposed to be doing every day. Absolutely. Uh, thank you for sharing that. That shows like the consistency people will come to you. I want to tell you something that I literally did today. So someone's mail got dropped off at my house and Tyler opened it because he was like, oh, it's like, it's our mail. He opened it. And he's like, wait, why did you order all these keto burn products? Don't you sell that? What are you doing? <laughs> and I opened it and I was like, that's not our mail. And I was like, but now that you've opened someone else's mail and I see what they're using, I'm not going to take this to the post office. I'm going to drive it over there to her. So I put in one of my business cards. I put in a keto coffee sample. I went and knocked on her door with Ezra on my hip and I talked to her for 30 minutes about the product. And she is so excited. I was like, I showed her my before and after pictures of what these products did for me. You take advantage of things that are given to you. What I should have done is taken it back to the post office and let them drop it. I was like, oh no. This... And she told me, she was like, it's like it was meant to be. You were meant to come to my house today and my products brought you here. So like I took advantage of an opportunity to talk to someone. I told her exactly how to make up the, the keto coffee. I had my phone number. I told her to text and call me tomorrow before she makes it. And she lives like one block over from me. So I know where she lives and I can go over there and be like, hey, Audrey, how did you like that keto coffee I gave you? Here's Ezra. Again, you like him? Talk to me. <laughs> so it's like, yes, you want to be consistent on social media. That's going to bring people to you, but don't throw away other opportunities that are in front of you too, such as, Jordan, you look so pretty. <laughs> you looking like that mermaid. I was like, Whoa. <laughs> Um, you don't want to throw away an opportunity. So if you are at the grocery store and you're talking to someone, strike up a conversation with them. Don't be in your phone and ignoring an opportunity to reach out to someone that's right there. Um, and honestly, good ways to do that is by using a product in front of them. So if it's midday and you're opening up a packet of keto coffee or keto energy and you're just going to take it back, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired and I have so much to do. And they're like, yeah, me too. I'm exhausted. And I still have like five hours left on my ship. I was like, oh, here's one. Here. Do you want one of these? You just throw it back like a pixie stick. And they're like, yeah, sure. I'm like, here's my business card if you like it. I'll see you next week. And you keep going on with your day because they're bit, like, I don't know if you guys shop at Aldi, but they're like, they do that with your groceries. <laughs> they, they like, like ninjas on the, the belt there. They're so fast. They're like, you have to be quick. But like, I'll do that. I'm like, oh, here. Here's an, here's an energy stick. I always make sure that I have product in my purse, guys. So I have an opportunity to talk to them. And I have my, my Blitz card because you don't want to let an opportunity go by. Your next diamond, double, triple ambassador, you could be talking at a line. And you're, you're not putting out that opportunity in front of them. Okay, so that is what I wanted to talk about. Oh my gosh, maybe Ken should join your team. <laughs> Ken loved your training. Thanks, Ken. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hop off. We've done like our 30 minutes of training. Um, anything that you guys have questions on, please put it in goal, de goal getters. And um, I uploaded a couple pictures and videos from the last party that I did on Friday. I thought that they were more like me, like talking about the business. It, it wasn't all, all that, but either way, in there, comment with your email address and I will add you to the Canva um, so that you can edit those slideshows for yourself, putting your name in there. And then there's one slide where it says like, this is me guys. So you can upload your before and after pictures and place it in there. If you don't have your own before and after pictures, you can change it from where it says, this is me guys. Like this is my friend Tara guys. Like what? And just like edit the words wording a little bit like that, but this it's so easy. Oh, Iris, it's on Goal Getters. I just uploaded a couple pictures and videos from the party I did on Friday. So just go in there and um, put in your email address underneath that posting, and I will get you all added to Canva to edit those the slideshow for yourself to save to your phone. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much for hopping on. I love you all. I'm so excited to see y'all pretty faces on this Sunday night. But we're going to hop off. I'm going to go finish some wine and uh, have some fun, guys. <laughs> on to a next week. We're almost end of August, end of September, down to our six months to conference push. Woo! So excited. All right. Good night. <laughs>